So due to all the positive feedback on my recent LEGO tip videos, today I decided to share 5 more advanced tips and tricks with you guys that every LEGO mock builder should use if they want to take a big leap with their mocks and take them to the next level. Now before I get any further into this video, I want to mention that this is in collaboration with my boy TD Bricks. He made a video of 5 more amazing LEGO tips and tricks that will help you improve your builds by a long shot. It'll be linked down below so be sure to go and show it some love and hopefully you'll learn a lot from our 10 tips. Alright so starting off with the number 1, this technique is one that I absolutely love and it is used to create a stone pathway and what I love about it is that none of it is in a specific shape, LEGO is generally built in a square shape and Adding angles to aspects of your mocks can really break the chains and step up the quality of your builds. This technique looks like it's something that would be used for a very earthy build that would probably be very rock centric and to build this create larger flat rock shapes and place them on their side on a larger plate and then fill in the gaps with smaller slopes of the same color. As you can see for this demonstration I utilized light grey with bits of olive green and dark tan mixed in for the main rock formations and then I used a dark grey as the fill in color and I just love how this looks and I'm definitely going to use it in some upcoming mocks. Now for for the next technique, this one involves window pieces. Most people probably think that these pieces are only useful for a modern house or anything modern and otherwise you're out of luck, but that is completely false because these can be used for a lot of things such as using them for detailed walls. As you can see for this wall design, I placed 1x1 one one tiles and 1x1 one one cheese wedges into these windows while still having the glass window pane attached to the frame and this creates a really detailed wall. As you can see, the pieces are inset outwards, adding variation to the shape and all the small pieces and the colors also add a really detailed and awesome looking effect and this wall technique can also double as a table technique because you could flip it over and it looks like one of those modern glass top tables that you see nowadays and overall however you use this technique it's a fantastic one. Now the third technique on this list is one that I do not see very many people using and it's actually a technique to achieve a round circular wall. Yes this technique will actually create a fully circle shaped wall for this demonstration my build is a half circle, but that's just because of my parts collection, but if you keep continuing this wall around, you will get a full circle shaped wall, I promise you. And to build this, you need to make a base of plates and studs, create at least three layers for it so that the whole wall is connected and sturdy, and to do this, for the first and third row, place a 1x2 plate in between two studs so that the wall is able to bend and form that circular shape, and for the second row, do the same but place a 1x1 plate at e each end of the side so it all stays together and it's all really sturdy. And after that, what you want to do is place the bricks and to do that, place some 1x1 one one bricks and 1x1 one one round bricks in a grid pattern and then you could do the same and bend the wall and get that circular shape that is generally very hard to achieve in LEGO form. I normally use snot bricks as the main bricks so that I could add pieces to the side of the wall and add more detail to it and overall this is a great technique and will definitely help your builds pop out. Now for the fourth one, this one is related to water, so one very overlooked detail you could add to water is to represent the depth of the water. Basically, if you add darker pieces underneath trans blue tiles or trans blue studs, it can represent depth in the water without making you have to add a lot more actual water pieces to it. Personally, I just think this is an amazing technique because if you have water in your mocks, it's definitely going to be one of the first things that the viewer notices, so it's important to make it look realistic and detailed, and this is a great way to achieve both of those. Now for the final technique, it's about using freeform. If you've been a fan of my channel for any length of time, you know that I can talk about freeform for days upon days. It's definitely my favorite aspect of LEGO mocks of all time. Yeah, pretty much all of my mocks are freeformed. Specifically, Rockwork is my favorite, but freeform in general is extremely important because it could represent a more intricate and natural shape and can just add so incredibly much to your build if you do it properly and use a variety of techniques and create unique angles and shapes. Let's just give this technique a round of applause and wrap up this video. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so much. I hope you guys learned something from this video and be sure to check out the second part to this video video by Ty or TD Bricks the homie and that'll be linked down below in the description and stay tuned for more content and tip videos hopefully I could get out a new mock video this Friday I've been working on a pretty spicy one that I'm pumped to share with you guys 
And also, le less than two weeks are left for my mock contest, so if you want to win a LEGO gift card, be sure to get on the grind. But anyways, remember to leave a comment down below, drop a like, take care, and never stop creating.